Let's review some laboratory information about blood sugar. What are the top three ones I like to check when assessing someone's blood sugar balance? The first one is of course your fasting blood sugar, which is your fasting blood glucose. Um, and normal is below 100. Of course, we, you know, for better blood sugar control, we're looking for a level to be a little bit better than that, maybe below 90, for example. And then the next one we like to check is fasting insulin. Um, a normal fasting insulin on most labs is below about 20 or 25. For, you know, optimal uh, fasting insulin function, it's better if it's lower, like below 10, for example. And then we also look at the hemoglobin A1C. The A1C is a three month marker of blood sugar balance. So it's not just what was it first thing in the morning when they were checked, like the fasting glucose and the fasting insulin, those are very of the moment. Um, this is more, you know, it looks at glycosylated hemoglobin. Um, so essentially it looks at the glucose load on a red blood cell, which red blood cells live about three to four months. So it does give us a more long-term picture of what blood sugar balance is looking like. A normal A1C is up to 5.6. 5.7 is when prediabetes starts and 6.4 is when actual type two diabetes starts. So of course, if the A1C is starting to float up towards 5.7, we're getting a 5.6, for example, um, you know, fasting insulin and fasting glucose are maybe a little higher than we like to see it. Well, that's the perfect time to intervene before an actual diagnosis of prediabetes sets in.